You're listening to the Hour of the Time. I'm William Cooper. And I'm Carolyn Nelson. We go right straight down to Phoenix to Gene Miller for the Monday Night Metal Report. Good evening. Hello, Gene. What's happening? Well, let's see here. Gold today had a high of 382.40 and a low of 380.40 to close at 381.40, up $2.80. Silver had a high of 537 and a low of five and a quarter to close at five dollars and 36 cents, up 13 cents. Uh, platinum had a high of 396.30, uh, a low of 393.50 to close at 395.50, up 65 cents. And the Dow had a high of 38.52, a low of 38.32. To close at 38.32, down six dollars and seventy cents. Uh, one thing that uh, I'm sure everybody is well aware of, and maybe you'll even be talking about it tonight, uh, the deal with the Brady Bill over the weekend that went into law, and something that you know it, it kind of dawned on me 20 years ago, 10 years ago, probably would have never imagined something like this being passed, and, and uh, slowly but surely the our constitutional rights are being eroded away from us, and and and, uh, uh, and people think, well, uh, about money. Well, the dollar is going to be here forever. Uh, nothing's going to happen. Uh, we'll always be able to buy gold. I can always buy it next week, and I, I can always buy it six months from now. I can always get it later. And uh, we probably thought that about uh, to, about guns, and this is probably just one step in in a, in a series of many steps to control your your personal rights is to bear arms and, and to take those personal freedoms away from you folks we got to wake up it's it's uh like i said last week in reading that article and uh to you that are clients that article went out to you and you should be getting that shortly uh but uh it's 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 on our doorstep it's here now and folks we've got to be taking action now as to getting ourselves prepared uh not only with metals but uh, the whole the whole gamut about uh, what it's going to take to survive in this uh, world as, as it's rapidly changing. Uh, we have information that will help you uh, on certain aspects, on the financial aspects of it, uh, because that, there's, that is part of our lives. Finances is part of our lives. We can't, we can't ignore that. We can't uh, bury our heads in the sand. It's only one part, but it is a, a part, and we have, uh, uh, you know, we have lots of information, but information is only good if you take action and use it. Uh, give us a call. Uh, we'll be, f- be more than happy to talk with you and sit down and, you know, formulate a game plan with you. You should know our number by now. It's 1-800-289-2646, uh, 1-800-BUY-COIN. Uh, and, Bill, I just want to let you know I appreciate what you're doing. Uh, I get calls, I mean, on a daily basis uh, thanking us for sponsoring you because of what you're doing. And I just want to thank you for what you're doing uh uh, my hat's off to you, sir. Well, thank you, Gene, and uh, I appreciate that. Uh, folks, call 1-800-289-2646. That's 1-800-289-2646. It wasn't long ago that listeners to this program were able to buy silver one-ounce rounds for $4 a piece, and now the price of silver is way over $5, so you guys better wake up out there. Tonight we began a three-part series, ladies and gentlemen, on the occult history of the Third Reich. The occult history of the Third Reich. Make sure that you do not miss one single episode of it. And all of you people who have been scammed and caught up in this Aryan uh, uh, master race uh, bullshit, and that's exactly what it is, listen very closely and you'll find out how you've been conned, and you'll find out that uh, everything that happened back in Germany during the 20s and 30s is happening again in the United States today, and all of you are going to make the connections between the new age, and it really isn't the new age, it's the old age, because it all took place a long time before, and it's just surfaced again brought to you by the same people. You're going to see the connections between the Third Reich, the Knights Templars, the Thule Society, uh, Freemasonry, the British uh, Israel movement, 
uh, you're going to see that uh, <laughs> up until Helena uh, Petrovna Blavatsky came along, uh, there was no super race called Aryans. And you're going to find out uh, uh, all of these things linked together is going to bring you the most incredible sense of deja vu that you've ever experienced in your life. And I hope, I hope you're man enough or woman enough to look yourself in the mirror and say, honestly, I've been had. Straighten your act up, find the truth, and stop being led by the nose by these people who would divide us just to put the chains around our ankles. Make sure you have pen and paper by your side, and folks, listen carefully. <laughs> A state which will sterilize, enslave, and systematically murder millions of men, women, and children. Entire peoples are to be swept from the face of the planet. Whole populations are to be scientifically reduced, those who remain preserved only for their value as slaves. The world is to be subject to a new order. observers of 1930s Germany, National Socialism is an enigma. No conventional political explanation seems sufficient to account for such an alien phenomenon. A whole world of strange rituals and beliefs seems to have risen from nowhere to mesmerize millions of Germans. Over the whole extraordinary spectacle of pageantry and military might presides the messianic figure of Adolf Hitler. And everywhere there is a mysterious and ever-present symbol, the emblem of the swastika. consummate the mystical unity of the party, the people, and their leader. The climax of the Nuremberg rally is a mass display of up to 32,000 swastikas. A foreign reporter finds himself overawed by the force of the spectacle he is witnessing. Hitler, he writes, is restoring pageantry and mysticism to the drab lives of the 20th century. The rally has the mystical and religious fervor of an Easter mass in a great Gothic cathedral. The ranks of the Hitler youth sing of their newfound faith. No evil priest can prevent us from feeling that we are the children of Hitler. Away with incense and holy water. The swastika brings salvation on earth. The symbol of the swastika will win the devotion of millions. Its rise will chart the growth of a strange and terrifying creed. The doctrine of national socialism. A doctrine born in the world of the occult. The mission of Aryan man. The mystery of the blood. The soul of the race. These dogmas, fundamental to the Nazi vision, will lead Europe into the realms of nightmare. Their symbol is the swastika. The 
swastika was adopted by the Nazi party in 1920, but it was neither the party's invention nor its discovery. Since the end of the 19th century, the swastika had been spreading amongst the peoples of Europe, and everywhere it was a sign of a new and powerful force, a deepening fascination with the archaic, the esoteric, and the occult. The revival of the occult in Europe has its roots deep in the trauma of the Industrial Revolution. By the dawn of the 20th century, the lives of millions have been changed out of all recognition. Cities, the traditional centers of commerce and fashionable life, have been transformed into sprawling industrial slums. Yet, everywhere, the catchphrase is progress. There is a widespread belief that a new world is coming. A world in which the ills of the past will be cured by science, by technology, and by democracy. Many, far from welcoming the dawn of a new age, are deeply disturbed. With the Industrial Revolution had come a decline in the power of traditional authority. The political power of the landowner is waning in favor of a new class of industrialists and financiers. Hierarchy is being threatened by democracy. It appears to many as if the world of beauty and order is disintegrating before their very eyes. Worst of all, religion itself seems in mortal danger. Cherished beliefs, accepted as true for all time, are being questioned by science. The ancient Himalayan kingdom of Tibet. From the late 19th century, Tibet is the mysterious and forbidding destination of a steady stream of travelers from the industrialized world. Many, disillusioned with the certainties of science, come in search of another deeper knowledge. One such traveler is a Russian adventurous and self-proclaimed telepath, Madame Helena Petrovna Blavatsky. In 1888, Madame Blavatsky publishes a book, The Secret Doctrine, in which she claims that deep in an underground Himalayan monastery, she has been shown an ancient occult text. In it were revealed the mystical secrets of the universe and the future course of human history. In The Secret Doctrine, Madame Blavatsky describes the universe as having fallen from pure spirit into base matter, darkness and chaos but soon it will rise once more to reach the pinnacle of spirituality. Madame Blavatsky claims that this